How do we buy the camper? I buy the camper. How do we buy the camper? Yes, we bought a camper. We've actually been talking about getting a camper forever, probably since, well, probably since our England days when we got rained out in our tent in the Peak District, but that's a story for a different time. So yes, we've been looking for a camper and I've been looking online. I've been trying to find one that was in our price range and big enough that it fit the kids, the dog, um, and light enough that we could tow it with our Explorer. So I found one, it ended up being in Amarillo. Well, Amarillo is five hours from us. So we called the dealer and we're like, can we set up a time to FaceTime you and go over the features of the camper? Uh, that way we don't have to drive five hours just to see if we like it. So they're like, yeah, sure, no problem. And they, they FaceTime us and we decide like, yes, we're gonna get it. Like this is the one for us. We get the hitch put on the car. And this is at the beginning of October. So right before our Disney trip and that Monday before we leave, Tyler is talking with the finance people to talk about like the payment plans and the loans and whatever. And they run his credit and they're like, no bank is gonna, no bank is willing to work with you because you have like, um, like discrepancies in your credit. And Tyler's like, no, that's not, a, that's not all right. Cause like with my job, I can't have that. And so he gets home and he's like, like, freaking out because he doesn't understand because he has good credit and he checks it weekly to make sure it's good and so he's looking on there and there's like charges of child support and all of these different charges in Michigan well he's flashed like he's only been married to me and he's never been divorced so he calls the credit his credit place and he's like you got to fix this like something is wrong so he they're going through he's on the phone for like an hour and they're just like we don't know really what happened, but what had happened was when somebody had entered his credit info or his social security or something, they got it mixed up with somebody else. Somebody else that was born like a day after him from Michigan. It was from like Frankenmuth, Michigan, had the same last name as him and was born like a day or two after him. And so like they got that all cleared, talked to the finance, got it all settled. So he was gonna pick it up on Friday, the day before we left. And so he drove the five hours to Amarillo, or no, he left on Thursday because he was gonna pick the, the camper up on Friday. And so that was five hours. So he was driving and I'm like, and it's like, it's just like, it's nighttime and I'm waiting for a text for him because it's getting late. And I get a text and said, I have a flat tire. I'm like, oh no, like that's not great. It was the back left tire. So he ended up getting to a gas station, got the fix-a-flat, got it all taken care of. So the next morning before he went to get the camper, he went to, oh, where did he go to? I don't remember. He went to a tire place, they fixed it because it was a slow leak, fixed it for free. So he gets the camper, no issues. We go on our Disney trip, no issues. We get back and we decide we're gonna go to the state fair in Dallas. And so Tyler has and Uncle Keith and Aunt Judy live in Dallas and we're just like, okay, let's take the camper for the weekend and go to Dallas, go to the state fair. So we decided we're gonna meet them on Friday and go to the fair on Saturday. So we are driving and like we stopped for gas, we stopped for food. So like we're later than what we had originally planned. And we, they were gonna meet us at Bucky's. And so we get there, we get to Bucky's at like, probably after 10, so it's probably 10.30 by this time. And we hear a funny noise. And we're like, okay, Tyler checks the camper, nothing. We're like, okay, let's just drive then. And we get on the highway and we get like the little error on our gauge saying that our tire pressure is low. And we're like, okay, like we've got 30 minutes before we get to Uncle Keith's. Like, can we make it? Absolutely not. Like our tire pressure went from 32 down to 16 in a matter of mere minutes. So Tyler calls Uncle Keith and is like, we, we gotta get to a gas station, like we cannot drive. And so we, luckily there was one like a mile down the road. So we fall off, we get into the gas station and the tire is flat. Like there is no fixing it with fix a flat, like it is 
completely destroyed. So we're like, it's 11 o'clock at night. Like, what do we do? We have a camper. We can't tow because we have a donut tire. We didn't have a full size spare. So we're at the gas station. Tyler's calling his buddies from California that live in tech that are from Texas, seeing if anybody's got a truck that can help us just tow the last 10 minutes to get to Uncle Keith and Aunt Judy's. So we're there. Tyler goes into the gas station and he's like, does anybody that work here have a truck that can help tow my camper to my uncle's house? It's like 10 minutes away. So one of the guys is like, yeah, um, my shift ends at in a little while, like 30 minutes and I'll, I'll help you tow it. And I was like, okay, I'll give you a hundred bucks. So we get the camper unloaded from the Explorer. We put the donut on it and I put the car seats in Aunt Judy's car so that way me and the kids can ride with her. Well, the kid gets off. Oh yeah, so the person that helped tow us was 17 year old. So he gets off, goes home, gets his truck, brings a friend and they hook up the truck to the camper. So Tyler's like, I'm going to ride with you guys. That way I can give you directions to my uncle's house. And so they didn't run away with their camper. Um, so Uncle Keith drove our car with the donut. Me and the kids rode with Aunt Judy. And it was, it was seriously a 10 minute drive. So we get there, we get it all set up. This is, mind you, it's like one in the morning by the time we, everything is all said and done. Like the camper's set up, all done. So the next morning, Tyler goes to a tire shop right behind it. Um, Judy and Uncle Keith's house Gets a spare tire. It's full-size tire. He's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna get two brand new tires So Uncle Keith, Keith takes him down to a different tire shop just down the road gets two brand new tires We were not expecting that price that weekend But we've got two brand new back tires a full-size spare tire that we travel with the camper from now on <sighs> We hadn't even camped with it like at a full campground yet and we had all of those issues to start with but we just finished our camping trip here and had no issues and it's been amazing good job Finn <laughs> get a little tired go fit fit go fit fit go fit fit all right here let go let daddy finish it up okay Cheese. Ben, we're good. We got it, man. All right, you want to start doing this? Yep. Okay. Um, white, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure white was in the front. Are these the shorter ones? Yep. Okay, then yeah, that's in the back. Or the front, I mean. Good job, Finn. Here, can you come hold the other side for Daddy? Yeah. Hold on, so we gotta get under there. Sissy, where are you? She's right here. Hey, don't, not yet, okay. Finn. Hold on. Big strong boy. You got it, buddy. Good to go. Yeah, Finfin, good job. Still gotta come out a little bit more. Oh, no. That's a 
They're probably coming to check our tortoise. Here, hold that for me real quick. Is this too bad to do this? Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. 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 We'll put this under the other wheel. Yep. Oh. Hey, Finn. Finn, Finn, come here, baby. I need one of you guys to get underneath this camper and put the wheel or this under there for me. Put it oh, in front. Watch your head. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. We should have did that before we popped it out. Yeah, I know. I'm about that now. Here, just tuck it under the wheel. Yep, just like that. Good job, Finn. Perfect. Watch your head coming out. Thank you. Okay. It takes us about 15 to 20 minutes to set up the camper. It's actually so easy and I think it took less time to set up the camper than it did setting up our tents prior to buying the pop-up. Okay, let's go show them the inside. Can you bring this for us? Yep, we'll bring it in a second. I'm gonna, here, hop it, guys. I'm gonna bust it. Where's my daddy at? He's outside. Okay, this is the inside of our camper. This is a king size bed in front. Mine and Tyler's. We've got running water, we've got a stove. A fridge. Kelly, careful. A bathtub. Please don't do that, Finn. The bathroom works. Yeah, it works. We've got a couch that pulls out to a bed. We've got a table that folds down into a bed. And then back here for the kids, we've got a queen size bed. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Pippin. How did you sleep? Uh, I slept good, and then I guess we were watching Donuts, and I also guess, Were you warm enough last night? And I got warm enough, and the heat it on, and I did not got cold, and I stayed in warm, and then I watched Donuts, and sitting on table. So last night it got down to 31 degrees outside. Our camper does have a propane heater, but also they have electric mattresses where you can adjust the heat for your bed. So we had it on six last night and that helped tremendously keep the chill off. We just cheers. So, cheers. I love, love, love that we have a table in the camper. We can all eat together and make memories as a family. Is your breakfast good, Fiffin? Yeah. Hello, my breakfast. 
<laughs> you eating breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Cooking in our camper was so convenient. The stove is run on propane and so is the outside griddle. We were able to boil water for pasta and Tyler cooked a steak outside. We finished up our nights in the camper with popcorn and movies. None of us wanted to leave, but taking down the camper is just as easy as setting up. Um, hang on, nope, you got a little bit of stuff right here. Yep. Not yet. Yeah. All the way. Okay. All the way down there. Okay. Nope, you're caught right here on. Ouch! Well, it's caught right here on this fabric. Then put the fabric in. Yeah, but you just like pushed out. Right. No. Are you good? No, my hands in here. Get your hand out. Good now? Yeah. Easy as pie. We gotta pick up this cord still. You want me to hook it? Oh. <laughs> Your boot slip? No, I jumped on Can I close this door? No. Can you come help me put this on? Actually, never mind, I got it. It's caught up here. There, there we go. go. Look at that. If you want to see where we head next in our camper, make sure to like and subscribe.